Hi, today we are going to be reviewing one-step equations. Um, I started with the four types of one-step equations, as well as in green, there's the first line of work that you would have to show um, for the algebra steps. If you want to take a screenshot of that so you have it to uh, reference throughout, you are welcome to do that. Uh, this video is going to focus on questions 9 through 16. If you could please pause the video and try questions 9 through 12. Come back when you're ready to go over it. All right, hopefully you've paused the video and you have completed 9 through 12. Now we're going to go over it. What I'm going to go over and focus on is the required work to show for each problem. So if I have something that you don't have, you need to stop and pause, fix yours up, and then come back to the video. So on problem nine, this is like the third equation type with the multiplication. So the work I need to show would be the inverse operation of division. It looks like that. You have to show that on both sides that, because you're showing that you're keeping the equation balanced. You could draw the line down the middle if you like to. On the right hand side, um, the 12s will cancel out, so I'm left with D. On the left hand side, you might be wondering how to handle 30 divided by 12. One option you have is long division, but personally I prefer to think of it like a fraction that needs to be reduced. I could divide them both by 2, and that will reduce it down to 15 over 6. I could reduce them by 3 now, and that would reduce it down to 5 over 2, and that's as far as I can go. But 5 over 2 I know is the same as 2 and a half, so my answer would be D equals two and a half. All right, number 10. So you should already have these problems done. Right now you're just checking that your work is correct. If you've skipped the step of doing these problems first, you need to go back and do the problems and then watch the video. On problem 10, it's an addition problem. It's like the first type of equation, problem number one. So with an addition problem, you can see in the green, I'm supposed to do subtraction. You think about which number is bothering king variable, and that's four and a half. So I need to subtract four and a half from both sides. On the left hand side, I get q equals, and on the right hand side, I actually already have common denominators. One half minus one half goes away, nine minus four is five. If you want to check it really quick in your head, just imagine you're putting a five right there. Four and a half plus five, yep, that's nine and a half. You don't even have to really write anything out. On number 11, it's a division equation. This is like equation type number four. This um, so negative out in front of the fraction, I get to choose where that goes. And I'm going to choose to put it on the three, so that way I don't have a negative variable and I can solve the equation in one step. The required work to show for this one would be to show times negative three on both sides. On the left side, if you divide something by negative three and then multiply it by, by negative three, it goes away. So I'm left with just V. And on the right side, you might need to do some scratch work, 24 times three. You get 72. They are different signs, so it's negative 72. And you, again, if you want to check it real quick, just imagine you're doing negative 72 divided by negative 3. Yep, that equals 24. All right. This last one, it's another addition equation, but I'm actually using a negative here. So in order to get rid of a negative, I have to add to both sides. My whole goal is to make that 7 go away. So if the seven is negative and I want it to go away, I have to add seven to both sides. So um, now we have negative 20 plus seven, those are different signs. And um, I need to subtract to get 13, bigger sign is negative, negative 13 equals W. If you wanna check it real quick in your head, I'm adding two negatives. So yeah, that would equal negative 20. All right, um, now you can go ahead and you could try the rest of the problems that you were assigned to do. Thank you guys for